said, my physique is proof of my commitment. Rockhold out of the southpaw stance in black. Paolo Costa, orthodox in what? And you know Rockhold, skill for skill, he's as good as anyone. No doubt. And if he can get this fight to the ground, you gotta give Rockhold the advantage in the, in the, in the grapple. But it's the power of Costa. Oh, he got hurt there. Costa's landing these strikes from the clinch. There were big shots too. Seems like perhaps Rockhold wants to try to take the fight down. As he should. Because Costa is so powerful and explosive. Like I said, the way he attacked Romero was crazy. Nobody goes at Romero like that. This guy's oh, hella real. Big left from Costa. Wow, Costa takes Luke down. And this is okay for Rockwell. This is actually good for Rockwell because he wants this fight on the ground. But Costa in top position, if he can posture, he can generate some really good power. Just the second takedown of Paulo Costa's now eight-fight UFC career. And now Costa's starting to posture. Luke has got one butterfly and he needs to try to get that second one into play and elevate Costa. Or at least lock down half guard. He's controlling posture here at least. Costa doing a really good job with his top pressure. Doing a good job of landing strikes to the body. Rocco has his guard open. Rocco needs to try to advance defensively. He can't sit here under Costa. That's a nice elbow to the midsection there by Costa. Costa moves to mount. Luke is going to try to sneak out. Oh, Luke's in real trouble. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Costa's good job by Costa posturing. That was a smooth transition by Costa to the mount there. Very interesting that Costa has decided to take this fight to the ground. But if you believe that Costa's gonna gas, this is works to your advantage. It's great to put him in a position where he's really using muscles that he doesn't generally use inside of the octagon. Big body shots from Costa making him count here on the ground. He moved him out. Again, it's amazing how effortlessly he's moving in these positions on Rockhold. Rockhold exploding, he's gonna sneak out the back door. Nicely done by Rockhold now. A furious start as expected, coming up on 90 seconds to go in the round. Really high pace to start this fight. And if you're Rockhold, you start stabbing things up the middle, trying to attack the body of Costa, yep. There it is. Right there. Luke has one of the best question mark kicks in the game. There's a good kick to the body in two, three, four. Power kicks from Luke Rockhold. Rockhold looks tired though. Yeah. His mouth's wide open. Seems like the blood in his nose becoming a real problem. Well, his mouth's open because he can't breathe out of his nose right now. It's, it's pouring blood. Yeah. What's your hits? What's your hits? Shots to the body that he ate on the ground are certainly not helping. No, Costa's doing a really good job of investing in the body shots. But you gotta think, those kicks that Luke hit, look at this. He's really good at that wizard kick as a takedown, but he doesn't have the energy right now to do it. And Rockhold's breathing really Again. compromised. Back to work though with that liver kick. Another power kick from the left side.
Costa was tired. That's not good, him stopping right there, putting his hands on his knees. But Costa's tired too. Stay with yeah, this. They're, they're right. Stay with this. Hands on. Not good body language from Rockhold, keeping his hands on his knees. Wait. All right, gentlemen, second round. You want to fight? You want to fight? Happy, let's go. Well, Jason Perillo doing his able best to center his pupil. We'll see if Rockhold can get it going oh. here. That'll help. Rockhold's coming out, guns blazing. Big kick to the body by Oh, Rockhold. he got hurt there. He's got his hands locked here. He's got to get to a corner. Rockhold gets a takeoff. Oh. oh, he got excited. He got excited. He rushed. And now Costa's got his back. Great wherewithal by Costa to expeditiously get back to his feet. Blood is pouring from Rockhold's nose. And he's grimacing. Shot from Costa. Rockhold circles. Oh, nice left hand there. A good check right hook there by Rockhold landed too, but good left hand by Costa. Or right hand by Costa. Rockhold is exhausted. I don't think I've ever seen him this time. Oh, beautiful oh, body kick to the body. That hurts there by Costa. Blood. talked a lot about recovery yep. in his training, but it's, it really is failing him right now. Well, he also hasn't touched down on this octagon since 2019. And the altitude, being up in Utah. What's the go? Oh! 360 roundhouse kick. That's a big movement, though. Oh, he oh. stung him. Rockhold stung him there with that left hand. That left hand straight down the middle. And now Costa with some swelling and a cut under his left eye. Rockhold showing a lot of heart here, about three minutes to go in the round. Well, he can still explode. I mean, he's yeah, he exhausted, does. but he still has the capability of launching powerful shots. Well, the thing is, he can also see Costa strikes a little bit because Costa's fatigued. Ooh. Oh, nice right hand from Rockhold now. Rockhold is throwing his shots too big, though. Maybe he should throw things oh, that are his that, That's not good. No. And that motor, that just gives Costa. Costa almost smiles when he sees that. Great kick to the leg there. Rockhold's skills look pretty good, but he's fatiguing. Costa needs to pressure him. If you're Costa, you may go get another takedown. Watch your fingers. You good? Time! You okay? It's not good. What happened? Not shot. Okay. It's it's okay. But if I'm tossed, I'm like, no, I don't want to hey. break. Watch your fingers. Look, look at me, Luke. Hey, watch your fingers. All right, just keep it clean. That body kick from Paulo Costa has been money. Rockhold now goes high, just over two minutes to go, and Costa back to work on the body. Luke still has that power. Yeah, he kick. does. It's still fast. I mean, he looks exhausted, but he can still explode with those powerful shots. Oh, barely missed that kick. And man, Rockhold's body language not good. Stop! 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 Interruption in the action here. That is not the end of the fight. I think he it was an illegal blow. What happened? I said he, I think he said he hit him low. Stay right here, Luke. Stay right here. All right. Take all Take the time. time. You got time. Take Work it all out. the time. So as many of you know, you Rockhold has five low. minutes. Le pegaste hasta abajo del cinto. Ok, le pegaste hasta abajo del cinto. No lo hagas este momento. Costa's fighting a great fight. This is the altitude. It's not just the pressure. Yes, Costa's fighting a great fight. But he's tired. Ok, Luke. But if you're Rocco, you take the time. You take the whole five minutes. We saw that earlier tonight. A guy got up too late too early. Woodson, take your time. Ok, you got time. Ok, work it out, work it out. Bring it in. Jason Perillo trying to hey, acknowledge. I'm warning you both of you guys. Keep it clean, you understand? Fingers, low balls, not having that shit. Let's go, fight! All right, back underway. Perillo trying to let Luke know that Costa is maybe just as tired, even though he would not appear to be quite as fatigued. He looked very fatigued when he was sitting down. He did. But when they get back to their feet, though, Costa's the one that's advancing. 
And it's much easier to be the advancing party than the guy that's going backwards. Yes. This is why it's also fatiguing Rocco a little bit more, because he's backing up the whole time trying to avoid the attacks of Paulo Costa. Good set up that high kick. Both of these guys are throwing everything with so much power. That's why they're fatiguing themselves. Nothing is, is just a touch. Everything's to finish the fight. Yep. Spinning back kick. Luke looks like he's got some more pep in his step now. Far more kicks than punches. Oh, beautiful low kick by Paulo Costa. Kick by Costa yes. Right across the front of the legs. And I love that Costa's going to the body. When you know a guy's tired, you keep digging to the body. Nothing fatigues him more. The problem with that is he's got to be careful of the check right hook from Rocco. That's nasty. And Rocco tries to respond with his offense immediately, but the body language not great. Rocco wants to put his hands on his knees. Yeah, he wants to take a break. And he's going to. But in a round in which he's had his moments, that is not a great visual. Costa pressing forward. More body kicks of Yacosta. <laughs> Boy, he is exhausted. That's like it. I've never seen I've never so seen old Rocco this time in my entire life. Yeah. Third, Third and final round. round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Hell, let's go. And John, you said Rocco had moments, but Costa's won the first two rounds. Yes. He has fought very, very well, because in between those moments that Rocco had, Paulo Costa's been advancing. He's been landing. He landed a massive body kick in that second round that really did bother Rocco. Oh! Oh, he's turning it up. As he should, though. Yes. Oh, this is huge. Absolutely huge. Look at this. this. Oh, he got oh, my oh. goodness. He Rock got sloppy. Yes, he got sloppy. He got desperate. Rocco saw his chance and got desperate. And that last explosion may be the last one he has. Rocco trying to find a little bit more gasoline here late in the fight. And because he's being, he's fighting so weird, it's hard for Costa to attack him in the way that he wants. Oh, we've, that jab. we've seen Derek Lewis do that at times. Costa needs to take his time and wait for Luke to make a mistake like that. Because then there's openings. Costa's moving into mind. 
I'm very surprised at how well Costa's been able to grapple with Luke Rockwood from the top. He's passing those guards pretty easily. in the third that stung Luke Rockwood. Look, Luke, Luke just kind of turns around and covers up and moves away. And look at this left hand. Boom! And that's right after he said F you to him twice. <laughs> Beautiful body That one kick. goes to the yeah. body. Look at oh. that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, did he just, hurt him? When does that ever happen? That's like in a movie. Yeah, dude, this fight was nuts. It was nuts. And the fact that he got on top and then rubbed all his nose blood all over Paul Costa's face. I mean, look at that. That is just hilarious. It's so twisted, and that is so Luke Rockhold. And the blood is just superficial, folks, right? Face and nose bleeds a lot. You don't need to worry about all that, but just an incredible fight between two absolute warriors, Paolo Costa and Luke Rockhold. All right, now for the official decision, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 30, 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Paula the Eraser. Costa. <laughs>